Welcome back to Cigar Time. We're great to be back in your house. Woo! Welcome to our house. Or one of them anyway. One of ten. You know, I would live here if we had a shower. This is our house. I believe that. <laughs> and a, and a, and a I've slept long here couch. dozens of times. Oh, long couch. You gotta get a, I get an air mattress for that. Those uh, purposes. Yeah, yeah air mattress would be good. I do. I'm not kidding. We're joined again. I sleep by here every day. Tim during the day. My <laughs> Tim person from out of the cigars. Uh, again, the makers of some of the most iconic brands in the cigar industry. Uh, today we're going to be smoking and reviewing uh, some of our all-time favorites. This is the first one we did. Yes, this no, was the first, uh, first ever. Ninety-five shows ago, ninety-five weeks ago, we reviewed the Reserva Real, and we're back again to do it again. Hopefully the results the results will be uh, in a little line. bit better from some of us. Others of us like it all along. That's right. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the lovely Miss T will tell us all about the Romeo y Julieta Reserva Real. Uh, as we like. Well, as, as Art said, the name of the title for me, as always. Uh, we're so <laughs> Romeo. Uh, the rapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut. The binder is Rob forgot to write it on the board. No, Nicaraguan. <laughs> I can't spell it. And the filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan. It right. comes in eight sizes. Belly Coastal Churchill Love Story, which is this cute little figurado hooking cigar. Uh, Corona Robusto Toro Lonsdale, which is one of my favorite sizes, the long skinny. Oh, thank God we know that. And a Magnum. The taste profile is nuts, cream, and butter. As some of you may have noticed, the lovely Miss T did take her happy pills this morning. <laughs> I did. Oh my God. Are you that important? Because I come in here and I see you guys and I get happy. That's my happy pills. <laughs> wow, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. I thought she was just happy because I was here. I am here. I love you so much. When she knew you were coming in, she... Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> Don't slide off excited. your chair, though. She was excited. That's good to hear. I'm glad I had that effect. I didn't know she could jump that high. <laughs> okay. It is, well, it thank is, you for joining us. But I'm bummed. It is surprising to me, time. without giving away any of my preliminary comments on this cigar, it is surprising to me that it has as much Nicaraguan tobacco in it as it does and still tastes the way it tastes. Mm -hmm. I thought it was all Dominican. That? A lot. The binder and oh, some of the filling. When we launched this so cigar... Half. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was oh, interrupting. When, no, when we launched the cigar, uh, one thing that we tried to do was we had the Romeo 1875 out and the Romeo Vintage, which is also a uh, yeah. Connecticut shade. Uh, we tried to make a cigar, again, that was consumer price friendly, mid-level mid price, which you guys sell at a great price from $6 to $8 and a, in a variety of sizes, only at Cigar Cigars. Um, no, this is actually a cigar that you can get anywhere. They but sell a few other places. We, uh, this is one of our number one selling cigars. The, the skew of Robusto and Toro is one of the largest in the industries. But when oh, this yeah. cigar was made, it was made again for the majority of the public that, do, that smokes a mild cigar. And at the same time, we wanted to do capture flavor. So, um, you know, I will tell you that when this was first launched from, you know, 12, 13 years ago when it was launched, it still is very close to the original blend, if not if spot on with the original blend. Because I usually take a box of these, maybe or 10 cigars every year, and just try to smoke them against ones that I've had from the past. Mm -hmm. And uh, and our blenders did an excellent job to keep it as close to the original blend as it is. And that's very important in this business that a lot of manufacturers, I shouldn't say a lot, some manufacturers often don't get. The variance between years and boxes is not great in a cigar like this. Some you know what? I'd venture, you're right, I would venture to say it's not that they don't get it, it's just they can't, they can't, they can't. accomplish they can't. it. They're not good at right. it. They're just not at yeah. the job. I mean, the, more, the longer I'm around, the more I'm like, I can see how difficult it must be to be able to do that. And like, some manufacturers just can't do it. Customers are like, they, they changed it on me. I'm like, no, they didn't. They just couldn't keep it the same. Right. If you fully understand the process that evolves from the seedling to the box, all the complexities of trying to keep oh, it the man. same taste, yeah. the blenders who do this in Central America, 
have got to have palates that are beyond belief. Yeah, and not well, not to mention the fact that there's things that are outside of their control, like right. Mother Nature. Like, yeah. And they have to adjust yeah. for well, that. So. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. that that uncontrollable variable is huge. Because it's, the cigar it's, will taste different two months later. Correct. And, and, and it's like an overthrow. You got to anticipate how this is going to taste. Mm -hmm. It's because raw they have one taste, and as we all know, aged they have another taste. So it's it's one of the off reasons. The Grupo de Maestros. Grupo yes. de Maestros, correct. Yeah. They are the guys. They are the, they guys. are the guys. Well, one thing that I think is interesting about this cigar, again, like I said, it's um, I won't say like to say middle of the road in taste. I think it's a little bit more on the. A little bit stronger, maybe than Vega Fina right. that we smoked on yeah, the last show, yes, but because of the Nicaraguan tobacco. But at the same time, it's a nice, mild, and um, creamy taste. And again, it's it's maybe not a your first cigar of the day like the other one was, but well, again, it's right people. in the middle for some people. Really? Yeah. It's Rob's so first, first cigar. It's Rob's first cigar of the day. I smoke this every single every day. day. Every day. Yeah. I smoke this cigar every day. This is, uh, you know. Watching the show, you know this is my one of my favorite cigars of all time. I smoke it every day. Where would you, my where would you guys cigar of the day? put the strength of the cigar if not? I think it's, it's mild. medium. Mild. Medium, I really, I'm, I'm definitely mild. I'm definitely mild. It's definitely mild. It's cigar. mild, but it's got a it, little. But it's got a lot it's of got taste. Spice. Yeah, it's got well, a ton of taste. Strictly talking about strength. Yeah, but fla flavors much different. Yeah. Well, this is around. this is to me. This is a really good example of what you can achieve with a with an Ecuador Connecticut wrapper because yeah. this yeah. wrapper is absolutely yeah. beautiful. It is gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's not as fragile as a Connecticut Connecticut would be, and it's got more Correct. flavor. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why is that, Paul? Because it's from Ecuador. Uh, just coincidentally. Just coincidentally. <laughs> no, but seriously. No, no. Ecuador and Connecticut. Uh, the soil obviously is very different in Ecuador, and Connecticut seed tends to grow a little more robust of a leaf. So after the fermentation is done, it's not as thin, it's not as fragile. Right. And unlike Connecticut, uh, they don't really have to do so much chemical fertilization in Ecuador. Uh, a, what a lot of the plantations do down there is they plant soybeans in the in-between years when they're not planting the tobacco and they plow the soybeans under and let it rot right in the soil right. uh, instead of using fertilizer. I saw that in, I saw that in Mexico. That's an interesting process. They just take the beans and like you said, just yeah, plow under. Right, yeah. right well, last, the, last week we smoked the Vega Fina and that was also Ecuadorian Connecticut. Yes. Well, what do they do differently with this one than that wrapper because this one, to it's me, the totally flavor is much different from the wrapper. Yeah. Well, what I what I find in smoking this, I've smoked it, you know, the components without the wrapper. I find that um, I think the binder definitely uh, kicks it up a notch. You, you know, using the Nicaraguan binder, I think okay. it kicks I, it up a notch. That's what I find. I mean, my just my personal taste. I, this, I, this as a blender, I have to agree with you. I think that the biggest, most fundamental difference between the, the two binder. cigars is an Indonesian binder versus a Nicaraguan binder. This wrapper is much prettier than the. Than it seems the a little more. It's shinier. It's got more silkier. oil to it. It seems darker. I mean, not. It's, it's not color. dark, but it. It's, it's, it's a higher color. color. It's a color. It's a I'm sure. Color. Yeah, I would. I would definitely. I mean, looking at it and looking at. Well, that could, that'll week. change the flavor too. The, the where the priming is. Yep. Yeah. Let's it's get more nutrients. Yeah, but you can't go too high. No. Aesthetically speaking, this is one of the prettiest cigars out there. Oh, it is. Oh, absolutely. The coloring. It's. It's silky smooth. I mean, anything that's going to bear our name on it, we try to give it the best quality. But when you're talking our two flag, two or three flagship brands, right. you know, Romeo Real, we definitely are going to, um, it's going to look good before it leaves the factory. And the sales justified. The sales, the sales well, justified, yeah. yes. I, you, maybe you said this already, but I think the Reserva Real is one of the number one, it's right in the top two or three brands in the country. Yeah, in would, terms of value, you know. I, I would say, I mean, I don't know, you know, I know I, think I used to get... One. I think it's that, number one, too. I think it's number one. It's, it's, it's high. Oh, yeah. I can't reveal all that, but I would definitely <laughs> say it's high. Why? Toot your own horn, Tim. To my own horn? It's, 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 in the, it's in the top five, I definitely say, in Romeo Real. And I think it's it, number one. It does say I've heard number well. one. Well, I've heard it, that, too. As selling individual cigars are very affordable, and it's a... It's a very, very affordable box. That's why mm -hmm. our sales with these are so high. Is because it's we have a lot of people will buy boxes of these because right. of the price point. Absolutely, price point, flavor, and you get the consistency. The 
to really. Yeah. So winning combination with cigars. Well, should we go around and get our initial impression? Let's start with Scott. <laughs> well, I just, I, and I'm and more like 20 more seconds. How so. fast can you say that? <laughs> Let's um, start with Scott. It is mild. Uh, I definitely get the, the, the buttery flavor, but I think that's because the, the, the smoke coats and the flavors coat your whole palate, so it's it's as much of a feeling as it is a flavor, and I definitely get the cream from it. Paul? I get the cream, I get the butter, I get the nuts, but there is just just a touch of spice that really just tingles on the front of the your tongue. Yeah. Through the retro Through the retro is more. Yeah. But e even in a straight inhale, uh, right on the tip of your tongue, mm -hmm. it's right. just a little tingle. Yeah, and it's like, like it's, but it's it's almost imperceivable because it's the, only there for like a second or two. Yeah. And yeah. then the cream comes right yeah, behind Yeah, you're right. It. right. I didn't notice that at first. I think where the cigar doesn't get the credit, because you do taste those uh, flavors that you guys described, but I think where this cigar doesn't get the credit is that you could smoke something else, maybe not something super heavy, but you could smoke something else that might be a little bit stronger, and then come back with this, and you'll still taste it behind whatever you smoked mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Right. So again, it might not have to be your first day, of, first cigar of the day like yours, Rob, right. but at the same time, you know, you can smoke it, you know, midday or you know, toward right. the end, you know, whatever you're doing, you know. But again, it's uh, definitely one of the best blends that we've ever put together that stands the test of time. Oh, I sometimes well, like smoking. Uh, a fuller bodied or fuller strength cigar earlier midday and then if I go back to something milder it, it sometimes to me it really brings the flavors out in the milder cigar I'm not sure why that is it's, typically it's the, the reverse all woken up. because you're crazy <laughs> well that too. that's probably more likely. no that's not true I do that too I go I go heavy early and then come back light do you yeah I do that all the time the yeah. is it, if right. you start this early try, actually just for kicks try it differently and it, it might this cigar <laughs> might Tastes slightly right. different to you later. Well, it does because we smoked heavier cigars earlier today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So, okay. Rob, I can't say enough about this. It's, I'm getting the cream, the butter, the nuts, the the pepper through the retro hail big time. So that's my first impression. Yeah. I uh, for me, I have to admit <laughs> this is just just a great cigar. I mean, I get the butter. I get I get sweet taste off the nuts. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, that's were salty. Did I actually say that? Oh, yeah, actually. Well, they were sweaty. Nutmeg or nuts? That's what I, I mean. Out <laughs> of like the mouths of like bosses. Oh. Off, off let, me, let, me, let me clear my let me clear my ear out. I, I just want to make sure I heard that right. <laughs> that's good. That's a great Don't worry, one. we won't let that stuff go. It's a, it's a wonderful cigar. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, did we get everybody? Uh, yes. More or no. less. No, I, would, I would like someone? to hear what the, the lovely, audience, the fans beautiful like to hear Tia has to say. say. You think? Why oh. would you think that? Because they like to hear what I have to say. I don't think Except so. Except for Rob. Teach. Now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo and Julieta. Can I talk? I smoke skincare. No. Yes, I'm afraid so. <laughs> Tim's okay, so here. Did back you see Tim here? when we first <laughs> raided this a long time ago. Uh, I, I just want to remind you before you go on. Tim has a black belt in karate. Karate. Okay. <laughs> and I think I didn't let myself, and I wasn't really an aficionado back then like I am now. So. <laughs> <laughs> and my, and mine is too. They're oh, right. The people who oh, write in are right. This is a funny show. <laughs> this is the spot where you insert from the mouth of the yeah. all time come gems. Oh, that my God. was a problem. And, um, You've been I doing this for eight years. I know, but. Remember, I took some time off and I came back, but, okay. So, um, I don't think I let myself get past, like, the initial beginning. What I, what everyone knows about me with cigars is I don't like to get hit in the beginning. Okay. As soon as I lit it up, I get, I mean, just so much spice. It's like, ah, you know, I want to just put it down. But because we're reviewing, I kept going. Now, since I'm in the 40 mouth. cents in, I guess, or whatever, it has calmed down. The spice is backed off a lot. Um, it is creamy. Um, not getting so much nutty flavor. Um, I do get the butter. It is a pretty cigar. It's just not in my profile. That's cool. Okay. But it is amazing what you can taste if you don't smash a cigar in the ashtray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You're never. You like realize said, you're never gonna leave that down. Like I said, I was I was wet behind the ears back. You did, years, you didn't get the, half back then, you didn't get the sweetness off the nuts like you do now. Yeah, no, my nuts are. Simply I mean, put, nuts are, 
<laughs> Simply Wait, spoken. I don't have nuts. In, okay. in the intervening <laughs> 94 uh, There's debate around you, you can't prove that. that. In the intervening <laughs> 94 you weeks, can't prove that. her ears dried off. Yes, they're dry now. So now that you're an aficionado, yeah. uh, <laughs> a baby aficionado. A baby aficionado. Can you spell that? A F I C I O N A D O. Or something like that. That's how you spell it. Right. Could be right. I don't know. I, I, I'm a horrible I, speller. I'm you a know, spelling bee champion. That's a spell check. Spelling bee champion, first grade. Name. Thank the you. She actually did spell it. Right. <laughs> did spell it right. It was painted by a fishy. Uh, Why do you guys uh, always have a private a conversation? Because he's talking with the cigar. <laughs> it's not a conversation. He's just talking. I'm trying to ignore him. But <laughs> so, so, Tia, what would we, what, <laughs> to meet your standard, Tia? What, we, what would we need to do to improve? Nothing. Give it him. Give it him a zero wrapper. Mess with this. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just not so much spice in the end. I don't know what is it. The safe It's completely the spice covered out. my tongue. Wash all the spice. It felt like a dry spice. Tia, just for you. We do make a Romeo Real Reserve Maduro. And that's the one I like. Yeah. But we never seem to rate it or that smoke it. That cigar's terrible. Uh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it is. I just found these people this morning. <laughs> yeah, I know. Streetwalkers. Tell well, me how you really feel, Rob. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> and I like the Habana one, too. I don't like that. It's a broadleaf Maduro, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I love it. I don't tried to get him to come it. out of his shell a little bit. I don't like it. And look what you got. <laughs> No, I mean, hey, like I said before in your last show, there's a cigar for everybody. That's yeah. exactly right. That's right. And this is for me. Not everything is for everybody. And there's three or four thousand that are for me. <laughs> it's number one cigar in the country, and yet you don't like it. I just don't. I, and I tried to give it so another everyone chance. Everyone else is wrong. Now that I'm a baby of fish nine, I've tried to give another chance. Yeah, it's, but maybe yeah. Yeah. everyone else is wrong. It, just except go, for it, it, kinda, it kinda goes down my throat, and it's like stuck here. It's like stuck in here now. <laughs> This is one of the go a little longer? <laughs> really stop talking. <laughs> Are you sure? You know what I really find interesting, though, if you, <laughs> if you, if you, <laughs> if you look at the local trends, though, Tia, what's interesting, though, that you, I'm, I'm yes. sorry that you don't like my cigar, but, no, no, no. Um, our cigar, but a lot of people are going back to Connecticut. Yeah, you know, a lot exactly. of people are, yeah. like, you know, at the, at the show you'll see later on this year, the new the trade show coming out in July. Um, that was in July, I'm sorry. It was in July. It was in July. Yeah. A lot of people released uh, new Connecticut blends. A lot of Connecticut. Uh, yeah. It's not that I don't like Connecticut. Remember, I mean, it's not one of my favorite. You just hate this cigar. It's just, no, it's just this particular <laughs> one. To me, it's just too much. It's too much. I don't know if it's too much Nicaraguan, like too much steak. It's too much something. Too much of something that I, right, well, I can't. Get rid of some of that. It get tastes, rid of some of the too much. It's too, yeah. It tastes too much like a cigar. No, it's, no, it's just too <laughs> much. It's too good of a cigar. I don't know if it's Seiko or what, what, what exactly no. it is, but it's too much. It's well, too much. It's definitely much. not the Lajero. Yeah. Mm -mm. Seiko's a watch. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to work with these people. Oh, oh my you God. have to work with these people. You're in the back. I'm working with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, even though you don't care for it too much, I hope you do push it. <laughs> I've always pushed it. You don't have to push the cigar. When someone, I'm, I'm asked, kidding, when I'm someone kidding, asks yeah. for a mild, and especially like wedding and things like that, right, go right to Romeo. We well, do appreciate your honesty, though, too. I sell a lot of Romeo. I sell a lot of Romeo. As you can and see, you can't you argue buy a Romeo on the show. show. And you know what I tell them? I tell them, it's a great cigar, you're going to love it, but it's not my favorite. And I tell them that. It's and good. they still buy it. You can't argue with the quality. Yes, and the quality, and it's consistent. It's always consistently a lot of that spice. <laughs> again, as I said, every time I, I light it up. Again, as I said, when I was with you, fine people before at Cigar Cigars, that four, um, four fine people, four fine people, that uh, quality is impeccable. You know, for as many cigars as we yeah, produce. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, and these are available at all ten Cigar Cigar stores, and of course, through all your leading. Uh, retail brick and mortar stores throughout our viewing audience. So, and if they yeah. don't carry it, they're fools. Yeah, well, I'm sure they're it's missing about, out. I'm sure just about everybody carries. No, this is usually you can usually find if it's if you go yeah. to a store maybe it only has 20 boxes of cigars. One of one these will be you'll, in you'll there. find one. You'll find one. will be in there. Yeah, I mean it, it's just it's, it's a wonderful cigar and at a, at a very decent nowadays or more than decent price point. You know, yep, yep. it's all it's pretty much stayed in a nice spot. It hasn't. Yeah, no, yeah no, it's no, stayed no. in a nice spot. Paul, do you have any uh, technical things you'd like to add here? 
about this cigar about or in anything. general. Holy cow, you do like that how cigar. About, oh my god, he's almost done. How about fish? Rob's almost done. Any too. more fish in the Dominican? Or no, actually, I, I, I was, I was going to talk about the Iguana Park if you yeah, want. Yeah, talk about yeah. the Iguana Park. And and just for grins, I just Googled it and it talks about it on Google. This, so. <laughs> is there any video of it? I didn't look at YouTube. Right. Um in the, well, not the capital, in the business capital of Ecuador, which is the city of Guayaquil, the largest, most modern city in the country, uh, right in the middle of the city is a really beautiful, small park. It's officially called uh, Simón Bolivar Park. I wonder why. And um, it's affectionately known by the local people as Iguana Park. And this is, it's a nice park with winding paths through it and benches scattered around and trees all over. And what you don't notice when you walk into the park is that literally every branch on every tree is completely covered with iguanas snoozing in the, in the sun. Wow. And the local people love to come into the park first thing in the morning and sit on the benches that aren't under the trees. No Obviously, and this park is surrounded by major upscale hotels, and the local guys love to sit there and watch the poor fools coming out of the oh, fancy yeah. hotels, who come into the park, sit down on the bench, and are immediately bathed in uh, so gifts nicely. in gifts iguana from the iguanas, iguana iguana, 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 iguana. iguana. gifts, from, and these wow. are iguanas that are up to four or five feet long. Oh, yeah, these are not little right. iguanas. Like so squirrels. when they give you a gift, it's a real gift. <laughs> on that note... Do they we'll stay on the trees? They come down at feeding time. They throw fruit all over the park, and literally many thousands of iguanas wow. just come climbing down out so of the I'm trees. I'm guessing at around. night, when all these iguanas are roaming all over the park, they would call that the night of the iguana. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, my, oh my goodness. That was Mexico. Oh. That yes, was I know, but it's still iguanas. Okay, let's go around the table and get our review. Fantastic cigar, uh, very consistent. The epitome when you talk about a smooth cigar, like this yeah. is the this is the definition of smooth. Um, I didn't catch it at first, but when Paul mentioned there was a little spice on the tip of the tongue, very pleasant. Mm -hmm. it, it it dissipated right away. Uh, very buttery, nutty, just a great cigar. Paul, I shudder to say that I agree with. Every word you said, Scott. Wow, that's scary. Go ahead, shut her. You didn't shut her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that. I always you rehearsed that for 20 minutes earlier. <laughs> I've been trying not to shut her. Jim, do you have anything day. to say about your cigar? Well, um, you guys said it all, man. I mean, you told me, I think I should take Tia's place in rating, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Rob? I can't say enough about this cigar. This is one of my favorite Very cigars. Good. If you saw a long time, we should do that again. Do our top five or top yeah. ten. Oh yeah, um, oh, it was it. in my top five cigars uh, that we carry in the store. Um, it's my first cigar of the day. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's buttery. It's nutty. It's it hits my profile perfectly. It's uh, it's it's a great cigar. I just can't say enough. Rob's about like it. twitches when he smokes it. Tea. I do. Tea. Yeah. Yeah. And he gets the sweetness um, off the nuts. I think I said everything earlier. You um, did. That was enough. Thank you. And it's it's okay. I mean, it's okay. Scott, tell us about the upcoming events <laughs> and specials. Uh, specials. Uh, all month long with all of the products from Tim's company out to this. If you buy any four, we will give you one free. Right. So that cool. includes, uh, I can't, I'm not, I'm not, Juan Lopez, Romeo and Julieta, Monte Cristo, St. Louis Ray. H. Upman. H. Upman. Begafina. Don't cheat. Why not? St. Louis Ray, <laughs> Despair. You say St. Louis Ray. Okay, Ray. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, you would, you would have a hard time getting a deal on a Gisbert okay. from us. Well, I think we just because we don't. Oh, have Westchester it. has Gisbert. Uh, and at the events, which they can find on our. Oh West, yeah. West well, Chester yeah. Pay attention Gisbert. to the email. We'll, we'll, you'll find out about the events. Uh, the specials during the events are much better. So we'll tell you the, through the emails, and if you go to the website, you'll find out about all the times and dates and stores. And what is that website? Like? It's cccigars.com. If you don't have cccigars.com. No, Thanks for leaving me on the island. If, if you don't have uh, our, if you're not on our email list, you can sign up on the email list through the website. And you'll get fifteen percent off and a free cigar on your next purchase. That's correct. Well, with that price, maybe I think I'll come by. Sign up. <laughs> you got to join our email list. All right, time to put a number on it. 
Um, 9.25. Paul? 9.25. Got two in a row. Rob? Agreeing with you. 9.75. Whoa! Oh, boy. Here we go. I'm going to have to do some mighty calculations yes. now. This is wrong. I'll be wrong. Again. <laughs> 7.5. Oh, oh, God. That's too... Wow. Damn, look at even Tim's face, Scott. 7.5? <laughs> That's just... What did uh, you give it? 9.75. Oh, I give it a 9.50. Thank you. Uh, calculations, please. So the calculations uh, are 8.9. Very well deserved. How's that? No, it's a good I say so. He didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's good to be king. It's good to be the king. <laughs> but everybody gave it over a nine, so how can it be? Well, almost so she everybody. You don't count her. Oh, so I throw the top and the bottom out. Yes. Oh, then it's about a 9.35. There you go. That's Weighted good. average. Whew. Oh, it's a great cigar. The price yeah. is, you know, absolutely... You know, punches punches way over I the can't top. wait to see how many I want to remind everybody, before we break from our repast, break for our repast from Barbecue Barbecue right up the street, uh, watch our Saturday show every Saturday night at 8 o'clock, right? 8 o'clock? Yes. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Yep. You'll see featured on there our outlet center in Reading. Uh, drive a little, save a lot at the Reading Fairgrounds Mall. You'll save 50 to 90 percent on many, many dozens of fine cigars. I mean, fine cigars. Big, big savings. And for all the viewers that uh, like the pairings, there will be pairings on the show. Yes, that's correct. Pairings on no the apple, show. No apple, just pairings? <laughs> well, well, they all can't pairings. be winners. Give me a break. Well, one could be someday. What's that? Huh? A winner. A winner. I like winners. Who's going to be a winner? Uh, oh, no. Are we having a contest? That you don't know about. Uh, if he would win, what would she win? Let me guess. A box, box of, of Romeo. 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 <laughs> and a Lord. No, never no, 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 I've not, no, used, no. I've not used that line in a long time. Thank God. So, time to say goodbye. <laughs> Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. I'm on. Smoke often yeah. and smoke happy. Smoke them if you got them, even though Tia didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye for now. Smoke sweet. Remember, cigars are subjective. They are. They're and not. some of us are wrong. Like <laughs> right. Ciao for now, everybody. You know, again, I just want to thank everybody for viewing. We want to thank our good friend Tim Person. That is my hand. That's my hand. Stay tuned for a very informative message from Glenn Loop, the director of the CRA. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. This is Glenn Loop. I'm the Executive Director of Cigar Rights of America, a grassroots movement advocating for your right to enjoy premium handmade cigars. Like no time in history, cigar smokers are under threat. They're under threat at the city hall level, in your state capitol, and in Washington, D.C. But in no time have we been under such of a threat as we are now with the proposed Food and Drug Administration wanting to regulate premium handmade cigars like no time in the entire history of this industry. You need to be a part of this. It's a grassroots movement, and Congress and politicians across this land only react to voters. I say time and again, you are no longer a cigar smoker. You are a cigar voter. We need you to go to CigarRights.org, CigarRights.org, and join this movement. For $35, we send you two great cigars. You get a newsletter telling you all about the political issues being confronted by this industry across the land and how you can be a part of the process. Fill out those petitions. Let legislators know you're not going to stand for smoking bans again. Thank you.